Hey guys, how's it going? I'm making a quick video on firmware retraction for the Ender 3v2 Neo. There was a new update for Mr. Escox professional firmware. Um, I believe it already had before the firmware retraction, but he improved upon it and made some more changes. The firmware is now in the quotation marks official release. The one I reviewed last time that showed the the thumbnails was a experimental build, so he figured it out and was able to implement. Um, whether you have a Dwin or a Kai screen, it will automatic detect, automatically detect which screen you have and enable that feature. But of course, you have to enable it through your slicer, which I already covered on the last video, so that process stays the same. But something I want to go into right now is the firmware retractions. And uh, from a retraction is exactly what it sounds like. You are able to change your retractions through the firmware while you're printing or before you start to print. But you can do it while you're printing. And this is how you do it. So how you will change retraction settings through the firmware is by going to your tune menu. Scroll down to firmware retraction. And from here, you can modify your retraction distance and speed and also enable or disable Z-Hop. If you leave it at zero, then your Z-Hop will be disabled. Um, in my case, I have it one, set it to, to a one millimeter. Um, well, 0 0.1 millimeters. Um, by default, it comes at 0 0.2 millimeters. Um, this is great because while well, you're in mid-print, so in my case, I had a bit of stringing at the start. I was able to dial in my retraction down to 2. I should probably get this down to like around 1.5 or 1. And my retraction speed is set to 50. You can change that on the fly. So instead of you having to print countless retraction setting or retraction uh, test prints um, and slicing, then re-slicing it, uh, how I used to do it, I would probably take like maybe 5 to 10 tries before I got it just right. You can actually just do it from here while it's printing. There is a couple things you need to do to, um, since you have to enable firmware retraction from your slicer. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it in Cura. Other slicers will have their own way, which you can find out. So in this case, I'm printing out this little slide. And um, the first thing you want to do is... We're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to marketplace. So open up your marketplace is gonna be on the top right, and we're gonna search for printer settings. Scroll all the way down, and that's the plugin you want. You will hit install, then you'll click OK or accept. And then it's going to ask you to restart Cura to enable the plugin. In this case, you just close Cura, then open it back up. And once you open it back up, you're going to have these settings here. So this is what options you'll have extra. And it will enable firmware retraction. So firmware retraction is going to enable basically within your slicer the G10 or G11 command that basically enables this. Once this enable, once you have this enabled and you slice your print, save it to your SD card. And um, once you start printing it, it will actually start using the firmware retraction um, from your from your firmware from your printer. And in this case, if you have any um, settings from your uh, retraction from your slicer, it's going to ignore your slicer retraction settings and it will use your firmware. Uh, retraction settings which you can modify on the fly every time you make a change it takes maybe around a second or two to uh, kick in the printer but this is going to be the best and easiest way to dial in the retractions without having to slice and re-slice multiple prints but anyways that's how it is it's that simple hope y'all found this um, easy enough and you should definitely give this a try I'll leave a link to the new firmware where you can update your printer to the new uh, Mr. S. Cox Professional Firmware. Uh, it's a lot more stable than before, and it gets you do get a, a couple new um, 
or improved features in this case. But yeah, I hope you all have, have a great day and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Peace out.